Hey everyone, welcome to Plants and Politics. So <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's like, holy cannoli, Italian Batman. We were getting drip, drip, drip about Matt Gates, and now it's like a fire hose of information coming out. So I have so much to tell you guys. The first bit of news, the biggest one, was that late yesterday it was revealed that Gates sent $900 to his friend, Joel Greenberg, the guy who's under investigation, likely to take a plea deal now for 33 charges that he's facing. So he sent this $900 to Greenberg late at night in two installments using the Venmo app. So this is an app that you can use to pay people. The following morning, Greenberg then sent three different women a total of $900, including one who had just turned 18 six months before that. So still a teenager, and she was recently a minor. The money was, like I said, it was sent via the Venmo app. And so on Venmo, if you're not familiar with it, you can make a notation as to what the, the money's for. You can use little emojis and stuff like that. So the first payment that Gates sent to Greenberg, he wrote a memo that said test. The second payment that he sent to Greenberg, he wrote hit up and then it was whatever nickname they had for her, the Daily Beast said they didn't want to share the nickname because she had recently at that time just turned 18 and so she was very young and they didn't want to out her. They also report that both of the men are currently connected to this young woman on Venmo. So according to one of the, uh, to a friend of this young woman, she now works in the porn industry. Again, if you're not familiar with Venmo, it's an app. Anyone can download it and you can use it to pay people directly. You can pay friends, family, people you, you do business with, and you can set your transactions to either public or private. So if they're, if they're public, anybody on the app can see who you're paying and what you're saying that you paid them for. When the Daily Beast began gathering information about these transactions, Gates's account was apparently set to public. However, they say that while they were writing this story, Gates's transaction suddenly disappeared. They also say that Greenberg's Venmo account is not currently publicly accessible, but they were able to obtain some of his records through a source. What they discovered when they looked at his records is that Greenberg sent money to the three females, and he wrote either tuition or school in the memo field. Now, you tell me why a 30-something-year-old man would be sending money to three young women for school or tuition. When and how, why does that happen? <laughs> Sorry, not buying it. In addition, they found that both Gates and Greenberg's Venmo accounts were connected to another woman who Greenberg also paid. And in that transaction, he used a government issued credit card to pay her, meaning that whatever he was paying her for, the taxpayers footed the bill. Gates and Greenberg also shared a connection with at least two other women who, who Greenberg sent payments to. So, and then Greenberg also paid another woman thousands of dollars back in 2018 using his government issued credit card. And the Daily Beast noted that that woman is a mutual friend of Matt Gates. Now, Greenberg supplied an invoice and a contract for a company for that payment to that woman for thousands of dollars. But auditors who've been reviewing all of his nefarious activities, they looked at that transaction and said, we have no idea what that payment was for. And an accountant who is involved in that forensic audit for Seminole County, where Greenberg was the tax collector, he told the Daily Beast, quote, no one has any idea what he was doing. Zero. The arrogance of these guys. They just felt they were above the law 
I've never seen it this bad. Of course not. Of course not. You know why? Because they both took office at the same time that Trump became president. They didn't think they were above the law. They knew they were above the law. As long as Trump was in office, they could get away with murder, and they knew it. This is the real reason why Republicans were so willing to go along with Trump's lie about the election being stolen. And they knew it was bullshit. They cared because their lives and their futures were on the line. They don't care about Trump. Most of them don't even like Trump, but they have their own dirty laundry that they need to hide. So they don't give a shit if people got killed on January 6th. They don't care that hundreds of Trump supporters are now going to spend decades in prison for falling for that BS, for his voter fraud lies. They were only too happy to go along with it and help him perpetuate that myth because they knew they were going down. If Trump was no longer in office, all of their lies, all of their dirty deeds, all of their illegal activities were going to come out. And so they had to keep Trump in office at all costs. But enough of my rant about that. Back to Greenberg and Gates. So Seminole County auditors found over $300,000 in expenses that they deemed suspicious. And they were particularly baffled by, quote, weekend expenses, hotels, unspecified high dollar consulting fees, and cash advances that Greenberg made to himself and others. So the Daily Beast dug into Greenberg's credit card statements, his Venmo data, and they compared it to Gates's finance reports, his travel records, Instagram posts, and Venmo transactions. And they say that, quote, in some key places, the two timelines and circles of contact overlap. Not looking good for Gates. Great for the rest of us. <laughs> so Gates must realize he has to know that he's in deep shit because he just lawyered up. He just brought on two criminal defense attorneys with very deep ties to Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani. But if prosecutors have witnesses, and I mean not just Greenberg, because as some people have pointed out, he's a proven liar. <laughs> he's The guy is committing his own crimes and he's looking to get his own butt out of, out of jail and out of trouble. So he has nefarious motives and he's not the greatest witness. But if some of these girls or women are willing to testify, which as I've reported already, some of them supposedly already testified to the grand jury. And then you have payments that tie everything together. Gates is going to need more than a great defense attorney. He's going to need a miracle worker. He's going to need somebody who can walk on water. And I don't think Jesus would take his case. But on top of all this game-changing news, yesterday, Greenberg's attorney referred to Gates as a, quote, potential co-defendant. So that was after a hearing where he was telling the judge that, yeah, looks like we're probably going to do a plea agreement. And then when he was asked by the same journalists, if Greenberg introduced Gates to underage girls for the purpose of sex, his answer was, quote, I apologize, I just can't answer that question. I don't think he needs to. His non-answer is really all the answer that we need, right? <laughs> so is that it? No, there's more. It was also reported late yesterday that investigators are looking into a conversation that Gates allegedly had with a prominent Florida lobbyist named Chris Dorworth. In this conversation, they allegedly discussed running a sham candidate in a Senate race. So this sham, or ghost candidate, as, as they call it, was meant to siphon votes away from someone who was running against one of Gates's allies named Jason Brodeur. 
Now, you may recall that I've done a couple of stories about this. Two Republicans were recently arrested for doing this exact same thing. And also in Florida, where Gates is from. But wait, don't lock off yet because there's more breaking news. So it was just reported that the House Ethics Committee has officially opened an ethics investigation into Gates. And he's not going to find a lot of friends there. I mean, remember, Democrats still hold the majority. And word on the street is that even Republicans aren't really very fond of Gates. About the only true ally he has is Marjorie Taylor Greene, not someone who, would, who I would want <laughs> as a character witness or on my side. I mean, yes, can you please tell us about your QAnon conspiracy theories and Jewish space lasers? <laughs> I would not want her on the stand uh, on my behalf. But on top of that, now Congressman Adam Kinzinger is the first and only Republican so far to call for Gates to resign based on this new news about these Venmo payments. So it's getting hot in here. I, I think Gates had too many women take off their clothes. So anyway, guys, I know that was cheesy, but I had to do it. All right. <laughs> I will keep you posted. I will let you know as soon as I hear more. I know there's going to be more. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.